Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Happy holidays, Libra. Happy holidays, and thank you for all the support that you've given to the channel for this entire year. It has changed my life, made my day, day after day. So I wanted to take just a few seconds to say thank you and let you know how absolutely grateful I am for the support that you've shown and the guidance, the suggestions, the comments, the interactions, all of those things have sort of, they've actually kind of changed my world, to be honest with you, and um, just made me so happy that they're the best gift that I could ever ask for. So thank you for being part of that. All right, Libra, let's get into, enough of this mushy stuff. <laughs> uh, let's get into our reading. Um, um, for this week ahead, so this is for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is going to be your full Oracle card spread. We'll get deep into it, and then we'll go even deeper in the extended with tarot and a romance reading, and that link is in the description box below. This is energies for the next seven days for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, wherever wherever Libra influences your chart, you could find you can find it and you could apply these energies for the next seven days. This is for the next seven days. Okay, Libra, I see how you work in because your crowning energy is you, but it's also a little bit of compromised you. It's a little bit you being wonky, unbalanced, having a hard time. But you know what? I got to say this. You're having a good time with this imbalance. It's almost like you're purposely throwing yourself off because you're partying. You're having a good fucking time. Ooh. Oh, I shouldn't have said that word. I feel like that's why my ad revenues are going down. But there are some people who swear in their videos all the time and they have like hundreds of thousands of views. So I don't even know about that. So I'm just going to say, Libra, you're having a good time and you're actually enjoying the imbalance. You're, you're partying. Um, it's almost like the reason why you can enjoy the imbalance is because you're sort of open to it. You're receptive to it. You want to experience it. You don't want to worry. You don't want to be the one that's worrying about everybody this week. You just want to have fun. You want to have a good time. And there is a chance for you to really just be twisted upside down and partying like crazy, but you're definitely at risk for going a little bit overboard this week. Just letting you know, claim your independence. Libra, you're going all out there. Maybe that's why you're unbalanced. Your, excuse me, imbalance is because you need to imbalance things to rebalance them. You need to try things and do things that you haven't done before because what you were doing, you felt trapped. You were stuck. This is you getting back to you. This is very much air energy. This is you finding who you are again, believing in yourself, getting your heart back, wearing it right on your chest, claiming your independence. This could be you becoming single. This could be you getting out of a job and moving on, you like to stay, right? You like to stay, stay, stay in those long-term relationships. This could be it, it, not about your actual romance relationship. This could be about you um, finding a new project that you're working on that puts you in the lead. You're producing something, you're creating something, something like that. This is very playful and creative energy, but playful, especially when this is the crowning energy of you just being sort of off your hat this week <laughs> with how much you like who how much you're playing um you're having a good time so this is good energy for you this is very playful happy energy for you and you know what i love about this card is it's 13 but uh, one plus three adds up to four so claim your independence is about you're sort of like staking your claim on who you are by being playful by being happy by by making the decision that oh see for those of you who just broke out out of a relationship or the, those of you who just got out of a long-term job any type of long term that you just got out of libra this is definitely the energy of you feeling real good finding a lot of stability in that and also basically like finding a pride in that like walking away from what doesn't serve you and having confidence to do it um there's stability in that there's stability in that energy. Oh, trust in divine detours. This is Sagittarius energy. We just walked out of Sagittarius season and boy, was it a whopper. So this is leaving it behind and letting it go and walking away in the opposite direction. Also, it is you being in this moment this week of just going with the flow and trusting. In other words, this is not 
a position that you ever thought you'd be in. This itself, claiming your independence, was actually the biggest detour that you could have possibly done. But guess what, Libra? In doing it, you basically changed the tide. Literally changed your own tide. Trust in divine detours. Mm. This could also be about seeing some sexy cat and enjoying playing some nice cat and mouse. Just letting you know that energy is definitely there. Almost like that dog got the cat in the sight. But I love the cat. The cat doesn't have the dog in its sight. The cat doesn't even care about the, the, the coyote. It's not even at risk. The cat is just so... See, coyote season... In other words, you made a big shift over Sagittarius season. Between the end of November and throughout December so far, you made a, there was a big shift, Libra, in your energy and where you were placing your focus. Because that card just, bam, landed right on top. This is Sagittarius energy too. This is surrender now. You made a big shift in your energy during Sagittarius season. There was a big change. And I think that that change was you being more focused on what makes you happy. Open to infinite possibilities. But this is... The star card, uh, shining really, really bright, um, being the center of attention. But I think that this is you being out of the spotlight, um, not wanting to be the center of attention. Interesting. Maybe you don't want to be the center of somebody else's attention. Um, open to infinite possibilities, tends to, upside down, tends to be being shut down. Oh. You made a huge shift recently. And because of that huge shift, there was a lot of tumultuousness going on inside of you emotionally. This is you stabilizing, coming down, and starting to find yourself again so that you don't have to keep moving around. You don't have to keep feeling like you have to jump from one to the other, one to the other, like from one possibility, keep trying new things. There was almost this onus on, and see, that's why there's instability here. Of you got into the pattern of just trying, everything was new to you. So you were trying so many new things and it almost got to be way too much. The newness got to be too much. Everything that you were trying got to be too much. So now you're starting in order to pull it back and reclaim that balance and reclaim that sense of self. You stop, you're not taking those detours anymore. You already made that shift and now it's coming back around to sort of restabilize you. Dream the world into being. There is an energy of the past coming back, of the past coming back to sort of haunt you or keep you down or make things not fun. I feel like there was this, because you are who you are, you try to like, you try to like balance everything out. You're trying to be too much fun because there's somebody here, there's responsibilities that are threatening to like, to, to drag you back in or come back up or things that you have to confront that you haven't been confronting. And I feel like, yes, this was a definite need for you to shift your energy and shift your focus. But now you just got to get back to stabilizing yourself because um, there's, there's stuff here that you're not dealing with that you need to deal with or it's going to get rank. Um, take the lead. Why are all these cards turned over? <sighs> Roots. That's what this card means when it's in reverse. Do you see how his antlers up? They're like antennas taking messages from the ether. In reverse, they are roots grounding yourself. Libra, you definitely need, but this was this energy crowning you a feeling out of control and maybe it's fun. Maybe it was playful, but this, this feeling out of control this week, you need roots. You want to ground yourself. You want stability. That's what you're needing. That's what you're wanting. And that's what you're going to give yourself for Christmas is stability. Root yourself. Um, I'm not sure that you've found the place where you want to root, but you know that you need to. You want to find those roots. And I feel like this week, the next seven days, what you want and what you like, the what you need to stabilize you, in other words, where you want to take root is going to become very clear to you. And that's what that this beautiful finding yourself, like taking a detour that led you straight back to you is really going to do for you this week is like 
oh, that's where I want to be. It's almost like maybe you've been partying too much. You've been hanging out with old friends. Things have been wild. Things have been crazy. But you're starting to see that in the old, there was no new possibilities. That this old, these old people that you were hanging around with, they, there's nothing new. They're, they like to stay the same. They like to stay stuck. That's not where you wanted to be. You're finding this week where you want to be, where you want to take root where you want, to, what's gonna make you happy, what's gonna make your future stable and find ways to grow and blossom. There's definitely been a shift in what you want to be and who you want to be with when you, when you, um, and who you want to be with when you become who you are or, or who you can have around you to become who you are. You're starting to make a shift. You're starting to see that people from your past were holding you back. They were holding you down. They were not they were not letting you be the best of yourself. Your opportunities are stunted by your past. And so yes, you tried a lot of new things. And that destabilized you. And that's okay because you needed that, de that destabilization in order to find where you really wanted to be. And this week, I feel like you are. Watch and wait. So this is still being emotionally volatile, but it's having patience. It's also being vigilant and digital. Uh, um, this is also father energy. Remember, seahorse is that caretaking, taking care of people. You might be realizing this is like you growing up being the responsible party, being um, empathetic, helping people, being helpful, watching out for people, nurturing them, protecting them when they can't protect themselves. This is a, a Piscean energy of being emotional, being more emotional than you usually are, but Sort of being comfortable with that and having other people be comfortable with you. But it's also this energy of you observing almost objectively all of those things that are happening in front of you. All of the craziness and all of the chaos and making a realization this week. I'm ready to let this go. I, I need to get back to who I am. You know, and what this is, these ain't my people. This, this isn't, this isn't where I belong. It's that energy. What is the grounding energy for Libra for this week? Ooh, what is the grounding energy for Libra? Seven next seven days, grounding energy. Grounding energy, grounding energy. Libra next seven days, okay? Magic works through you. You're transforming. You're becoming somebody else. This is Cancerian energy. This is the energy of being in between, going back and forth between life and death. This is finding your new self, inventing who you are. This is also helping others. You may be doing works of charity this week, you know, because a lot of people do around the holiday season, but it could also just be you doing acts of charity or random acts of kindness that aren't specific charity that are not like official charity but they're just like watching out taking care of people protecting them but also re reforming yourself reinventing your life creating this is magic magic is working through you the divine is working through you truth transcends illusion this is a huge shift in who you are and that's where the destabilization comes from you you had a huge shift in who you were over the past couple of months and this is coming, now this is coming into focus about you're finally arriving at the new you, knowing who you, who you want to be. This is air, usually Aquarian energy, but this is air rising from the flames, rising from the ashes. This is very Phoenix energy of becoming who you were meant to be, Libra. And, and now you know who you were meant to be. And this, anybody from the past that's trying to hold you back, there's still sort of that, um, they're not, they don't have that hold over you. It's almost like you're observing them objectively and realizing you ain't my roots. I don't, I don't want to root myself near you. You stunt my growth and stunt my possibilities. You don't, you can't be a part of my life anymore. You know? Um, yeah, that's the energy that's coming through right here. Um, it's almost like making a phone call. 
I gotta see if you watch, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I follow holist, uh, hol, um, holistically hilarious, and she is so funny. She really is. She brings comedy, like uh, the magic of Haruku, um, the the um, the sacred fool, the energy of how comedy heals. Basically, it does, and she's funny. And she just made this video. It was on Instagram TV where she called somebody to let them know that they couldn't be in her life anymore. And they were like, what? And she was like, yeah, because you, you hold me back. You hold me down. You don't serve my purpose anymore. And that's what this energy is of finding who you are, finding the confidence, and even having to go it alone for a while, which isn't easy for you, but also this energy of creating yourself and now knowing the spell to cast, knowing exactly who and what you want to be, Libra, and what direction you'll be going in. Hold on. I'm going to review the cards with you. So for the next seven days, this is your energy. Destabilize it. Like, it's almost like you're feeling differently than you would have ever felt before. You know, you, you never felt these feelings before. You never realized that this is embrace the in-between. This is no, you feel unbalanced. You feel caught. You feel like your options are limited because something from the past is dragging you back in. Or, some, yeah, it's like, it's you. It's your past, your past self, old friends. This is the energy of maybe being around old friends this week and realizing that they're old friends for a reason. That they got to stay old friends. Being at parties or getting together with family that makes you realize things like, wow, these people don't, these are people that can go, these are people, like having thoughts like that, that you never would before. Of these people have to go and these people can stay. Because I'm really tired of this dead weight, of feeling stuck. Of feeling like my life isn't moving forward because people around me are stuck. And I feel like I have to stay around them. You're really imbalanced. There's an imbalance here that you actually need to heal yourself so that you can observe. You know, when things are not right, how do people behave? And do they behave in a way that I can respect them? That they're people that I'd actually want to be around or want to model myself after? Because this is the grounding energy of you becoming the new you. Of you realizing who you are, whether you're 60 or 16, it doesn't matter. This is a realization week of what you want to be and who you want to be around or who is going to encourage that growth in you. And right now, what you're seeing is you can't really take root where you are because the soil is, it's not rotted, it's drained. There is no more nutrients there for you. So, which direction are you headed in? Well, that's interesting. We'll see. I'm going to pull some tarot, extend this reading. We'll go over to, um, we'll go over to the extended. The link is below. I'm going to pull your love romance reading too, and I will see you there, Libra.